You know what drives me crazy about ChatGPT? You spend 20 minutes getting the perfect response, and then you ask it to change one tiny detail, and it rewrites the whole thing like an overenthusiastic intern who thinks starting from scratch is always the answer. Well, we just discovered a feature that's been hiding in plain sight, and it solves this problem completely. It's called Canvas. And once you see what it can do, you'll wonder why you've been putting up with ChatGPT's scorched earth approach to editing. Today, we're going to show you how to turn ChatGPT into an actual collaborative partner instead of that well meaning friend who insists on redecorating your entire living room when you just ask them to move one picture frame. We'll use a simple example planning a five day trip to Italy purely to show what's possible with Canvas in ChatGPT. You'll see Canvas in action with inline editing, contextual prompts, AI suggestions, the side chat, change tracking, reading level adjustments, and more. Now, the trip is just the backdrop. The real focus here is on the tools. By the end, you'll understand how these features work together to make AI feel like your own personal assistant who actually follows instructions. So let's dive in. All right. Here I am in regular ChatGPT, ready to help some friends of ours plan a wonderful Italian adventure with their two grandkids. I'm typing, plan a five-day trip to Italy for a family of two grandparents and two grandchildren who love history, fun activities, local food, and slow-paced travel. Include a mix of sightseeing, rest time, and authentic restaurant suggestions. Let's see what ChatGPT cooks up for us. Hopefully something as delicious as the pasta that they're going to be eating. And here's what ChatGPT gave me. Not just a few ideas, but a beautifully thought out five-day itinerary. Kid-friendly, grandparent-approved, and paced so no one ends up needing a vacation after the vacation. It laid out everything from trip over you to daily schedules with built-in rest times, hands-on activities, and even where to find the best pizza in Rome. Pretty impressive, right? And I'm about to show you something even better. But first, if you're thinking, I need to remember this, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button right now. Every week, we break down one AI tool that actually makes your life easier. No tech jargon, no nonsense, just practical stuff you can use today. And drop me a comment telling me what you'd plan if you had Canvas. I read every single comment. Now, back to the topic. Okay, but what if my friends want to tweak a few things? Let's say they stayed at Hotel Artemide last time they were in Rome and didn't love it. Or maybe they'd rather skip the Vatican and visit the Borghese Gardens instead. The problem? Every time they ask for a small change, ChatGPT writes the whole itinerary from scratch. And that's where Canvas really shines. With just one click, I can move this entire plan into Canvas and start shaping it to fit exactly what we want. Adjusting details, adding our own notes, even slipping in personal photos or side comments. Now, Canvas isn't just a writing space. It's where the ideas become ours, where information turns into a story, where the magic happens. So, how do you get into Canvas? It's actually just a couple of clicks. Right below the prompt bar, Click the little plus sign, and then open the More menu. From there, select Canvas. It's tucked in with other powerful features like web search and deep research, but this is the one that turns your content into a fully editable document. Then, I paste in the exact same prompt I used earlier. And as soon as I hit Enter, ChatGPT generates the full response right inside Canvas, ready for me to shape and refine. And just like that, the full itinerary appears inside Canvas, neatly formatted, thoughtfully written, and totally editable. But here's the best part. I can now click on any section and change it. Tweak a hotel. Swap a museum. Add a gelato emergency backup plan. Whatever I want without starting over. Canvas gives me the freedom to shape, revise, and polish without wrestling with formatting or losing the thread. Now for the fun part, editing. 
To tweak the itinerary, just click the Edit button at the top, and the text shifts into an editable mode. On the left, I still have the full conversation thread, my original prompt, ChatGPT's responses, and any back and forth. On the right, I get a clean, editable document version of the reply. Honestly, I think my friends will be way too wiped out for a scenic stroll right after a transatlantic flight. In the Pantheon, well, it has a fantastic 30-minute audio tour. That sounds just about right for jet-lagged grandparents and wiggly grandkids. So I'm going to make a quick tweak. I'll just click into the text, highlight, light stroll around Piazza Navona, and replace it with 30-minute audio tour inside. That's it. No saving, no formatting drama. Canvas updates it instantly, like a live document with a very polite co-author who never argues and always types neatly. We also want to make sure that this trip is fun for our 10-year-old. Now, one easy idea, a themed scavenger hunt map that turns the area around the Pantheon into a mini adventure. Spotting fountains, statues, and secret clues along the way. So here's what I'll do. I'll hit enter after Pantheon and type, build a themed scavenger hunt map. Then I'll highlight scavenger hunt map and bold it just to make it pop. And for early night, I'll give that little emphasis by italicizing it. No retyping, no reprompting, just smooth inline edits like a normal text editor. And unlike Word, this one doesn't pretend it never met my edits after a nap and a power outage. Let's say this section about Capitalone Hill feels a little too bare bones. I wanted to paint a picture, not just drop locations. So I hover over the day two afternoon section and a little plus sign bubble appears. I click it and type in a quick request. Expand this vivid itinerary note. Describe what makes Capitalone Hill special, what to see in the museums or piazza, and give options for a short, like 30 minute or longer, or maybe one to two hour a visit. Add one quick tip for families with kids. Hit enter. And just like that, it rewrites the section beautifully. Now it reads like a real travel guide. A quick overview, ideas for different energy levels, and even a family-friendly tip. Espresso for the grown-ups, space to stretch for the kids. Notice how only this part changed. The rest of my itinerary stayed exactly where it was. This is targeted editing, not starting from scratch. And all that without leaving the editor. Let's say I'm not quite sure what the Pitti Palace grounds actually are. No problem. I just hover over that part of the text, click that plus bubble, and type, what are Pitti Palace grounds? And look at that. Canvas gives me a rich, detailed sidebar explanation. It doesn't change my text. It just quietly fills me in. Now I learn it's part of the Bobbly Gardens, once home to the powerful Medici family. Even better, it turns out to be perfect for my grandson. Open spaces, plenty of room to roam, and nothing too breakable. It's like having a built-in travel guide who's always patient and always on call. Now that I've explored and clarified a few spots, I'm ready for a broader tune-up. So I click the Suggest Edits button down in the lower right corner. Now, ChatGPT scans the whole document and offers thoughtful suggestions. Here's one of the suggestions it gives me. Consider reorganizing tips into themed groups with brief one-line explanation for a more polished close. That's smart, and exactly the kind of thing I'd forget to do after working on something for too long. I click Apply, and just like that, it reorganizes the section. Cleaner, clearer, and easier to read. This isn't just a spell check. It's structure, flow, and logic, all tuned to my style and my audience. Let's say I want a little more storytelling in here, something with a touch more color and context. On the right-hand side, I got this handy length slider. I'll nudge it one step longer, then click Apply. And just like that, each day's description expands with richer narrative and sensory detail. The afternoon stroll isn't just a walk. 
it's a moment to admire fountains and laugh at street performers. The Coliseum visit becomes a gladiator adventure told through storytelling tours. Even the tips at the end now group smartly into themes like pace and comfort and weather and rainy days, making it easy to digest. It's subtle, but the effect is dramatic. The itinerary transforms from a basic list into a vivid experience. It reads more like a travel journal than a schedule, and it's all still editable in Canvas. Now let's talk about reading level. An important feature for my friend who's planning this trip for two grandkids at very different stages. One's still in elementary school, and the other is deep into a PhD program. He needs to tailor the itinerary to both. So first, let's simplify it for the youngest traveler. Now, since there's no elementary setting, I move the reading level slider to kindergarten and hit apply. Perfect. Now it reads like a little adventure story. Every day feels like a fun quest with simple words, a lively tone, and just the right mix of imagination and action. The landmarks become characters, and each moment turns into a playful activity or discovery. It's easy to follow, inviting to read aloud, and perfectly tuned for a child's attention span and curiosity. I think their grandson is going to love this version. I'll copy and paste that version into a Word doc and send it off to him. Maybe throw in a few emojis while I'm at it. Then I go back, adjust the slider again, this time to graduate school, and click apply. Boom. Just like that, the whole itinerary shifts gears. Elevated vocabulary, deeper cultural context, and layered phrasing that wouldn't feel out of place in a graduate seminar. Now it reads like a curated academic field study, complete with interpretive frameworks and pedagogical notes. A version his PhD candidate grandson will not only appreciate, but probably dissect, annotate, and debate, possibly while sipping espresso and referencing Foucault. Now that both versions are in place, one playful, one professional, it's time to give the whole itinerary a final touch. Click the Add Final Polish button on the lower right toolbar. That gives ChatGPT one last chance to refine everything, tightening phrasing, smoothing transitions, and elevating tone consistency across the whole itinerary. Now what you get back is impressive. Titles become sharper, like turning day two into Archaeology and Narrative, The Adventure of Empire. Descriptions gain sophistication and rhythm. In the graduate version, phrases like a revitalized food market where diverse vendors showcase the regional richness of Italian cuisine, replace simpler words with something more textured and engaging. This final polish doesn't just clean things up, it elevates the entire presentation. Now, whether you're printing it, sharing it with your travel group, or tucking it into a keepsake binder, this version feels complete, ready for both critique and compliments. Now let's take a look at that emoji tool. <laughs> this is where things can get a little expressive. You'll see several choices for how you can add emojis. Click on Sections. This adds emojis just to the section headers. Sounds neat, right? But watch what happens. It didn't stop at headers. Emojis showed up everywhere. It might be travel format that's confusing ChatGPT. Either way, uh, it was more than I bargained for. So. Time for my favorite button, Remove. This clears all the emojis in one clean click. We're back to a tidy version that eliminated all emojis and distractions, because even Rome deserves a break from the dancing smiley faces. List. This would normally add emojis to bullet points. Since I don't have any lists in this itinerary, I didn't use it. Words. This one adds emojis throughout the text tied to word meaning. Now, my style for this version, I mean, I'm 79, not a Gen Z social media manager. But if I were making this for my 10-year-old grandson, oh, he'd love it. Emojis make everything more exciting at that age. History lesson? Add a sword, a fireball, maybe a pizza slice, and suddenly we're in business. This emoji tool is fun, flexible, and lets you tailor tone for different readers. It's great for playful versions, just as easy to turn off when you're ready for something more polished. Let's say I wanted to add a little something extra to the itinerary, something off the beaten path, but still family friendly. 
I've heard Austria Antica is a hidden gem, ancient Roman ruins by the sea, without the chaos of Pompeii. And it's supposed to be great for kids. So I popped the question into the chat on the right-hand sidebar. Can you suggest an afternoon trip options to the Ostia Antica, ancient Rome by the sea, that fits this slow travel theme? When you ask a question in the right-hand sidebar chat, ChatGPT doesn't just give you an answer off to the side. It actually adds that suggestion directly into your document as a comment. To see it, look for those little number bubbles that appear along the right edge of your text. You might have to scroll to find them. Each number corresponds to a suggestion or edit. Now, once you spot one, just click it, and voila! The comment pops up with a tailored recommendation, like how to fit a relaxed afternoon trip to Ostia Antica into your itinerary. To see the suggestion in your itinerary, just click the apply. Sure enough, ChatGBT comes back with a thoughtful idea, a short train ride from Rome, easy to reach, and ideal for young explorers. Now, what if you wanted to see exactly what changed after an edit? No problem. Just look to the top right of your canvas, you'll see a little circular arrow icon. That's the Show Changes button. Click it and boom, your edits are revealed. Green highlights show what was added. Red strike throughs show what got the boot. It's like having x-ray vision for your document, perfect for spotting tweaks, trimming fluff, or just second guessing yourself with style. If you decide you like the original better, just click the three dots and select Restore Previous Version. Poof, everything goes back one step. And yes, you can do that again, and again, and again, no judgment. This same menu is also where you can download your masterpiece, once it's polished, proofed, and ready to impress your family or your friend. All right, we just covered a lot. And here's the thing, Canvas changes the game completely when you know how to use it. We planned a trip, edited on the fly, adjusted reading levels, track changes, all without losing our work or starting over. Now I've got two things for you. First, hit those like and subscribe buttons and turn on notifications. We release a new video or two every week, and each one is built specifically for folks like us who want practical tools, not hype. Consider it your weekly 20-minute AI workshop delivered right to your TV. Second, if you want to go deeper, check out our membership. You get prompt libraries you can download and use immediately. If you opt for our AI Mastery Circle, you even get direct access to us during our scheduled office hours. There's a QR code on your screen right now. Just point your phone's camera at it and it'll take you straight there. No typing needed. Now before you go, we do want to hear from you. Have you tried Canvas yet? If yes, what did you create? If not, what's stopping you? Drop a comment, and here's a tip, don't overthink it. Just type one sentence, I promise I read every single one, and your questions often become my next videos. Remember, you don't have to be 25 to master this technology. You just need the right teacher and the willingness to push a few buttons. That's exactly what we're doing here, one video at a time. So thank you for spending this time with me today. I'm Tom Hathaway. And I'll see you in the next video that my creative conspirator, Angela, is cooking up right now. Thank you.